Hello and welcome back to another mini lesson on mathematics. Today I'm back with another topic, a brand new one, which is about rounding numbers. It's on chapter 6, lesson 6, I'm sorry, page 16, okay? It's lesson 6, page 16. Uh, first of all, as a point of departure, let us know about what is rounding. Rounding is one way to estimate when you want to know about how many. So remember, it's one way to estimate when you, when you want to know about how many. Okay, let me put it very simply for you. If I want to round a number... If I want to round a number, for example, I have two digits number like 26. If I have a two digits number, for example, 26, and if I want to round it up, I'll round it down. Number five is the key. Number five is the key to it all. Uh, we can round numbers to the nearest 10, to the, to the nearest hundreds, or to, to the nearest thousands, or whatever. And in this case, we're going to round this number to the nearest 10. Round to the nearest, nearest 10. Okay, in this case, when we're, when we're asked to round a number to the nearest 10, we're going to look at the ones place value, okay? When it says round a number to the nearest 10, we're going to look at the tens position, no, the, the ones position. And if the number in the ones is more than 5, or it's 5 or more than 5, we're going to round up. Meaning that we're going to increase the 10 by 1 and make the ones play 0. I'm going to say that again. We want to round a number to the nearest 10. We're going to watch, we're going to look at the ones position. If it's 5 or more than 5, we're going to round up, okay? Round up. And when to round up, we will increase the tens position by one and we'll make the one spot zero. So it's it's six and it's more than five. And we're going to increase this one by a number. It becomes three and in the ones we're going to write zero. So if you want to round number 26 to the nearest 10, it becomes 30. All right? Follow me, I'm going to give you more examples so that you can get an understanding of what we're talking about. If you're asked to, to round 14, number 14, to the nearest 10, to the nearest 10. Remember, round to the nearest 10. Remember what, what I told you. When we're rounding number to the nearest 10, we're going to look at the ones place value the ones okay if it's five or more if it's five or higher we are going to round up if it's four or less we're we are going to round down. we're going to round down okay now look at the ones place it's four okay it's less than five so if i want to round this number to the nearest ten I'm going to, you know, the, uh, the, the 10th place stays the same, it becomes 10, okay? The number, the, the number in the one spot becomes 0. So if I want to round number 14 to the nearest 10, becomes 10, it becomes 10. Okay, more examples. If, if I want to round number... 57 to the nearest 10 to the nearest 10 careful if i want to round a number to the nearest 10 i'm going to look at the ones and if it's more that it's five or more than five i'm 
going to round up, meaning that I'm going to increase the tens by one and put a zero in the ones position. Now look, it's more than five. So it, it'll increase this one, become six. Uh, instead of seven, I'm going to write zero. Okay, so this is the number to the nearest 10. And our last example is going to be it's going to be number 73. And if you want to round 73 to the nearest 10, first of all, you have to watch, you have to take a look at the one spot and see if, if it's five or more or it's four or less. Yeah, it's less than four, so the 10 stays the same. We're gonna write seven, and instead of the three, in the one spot, we're going to write zero. So 73 is 70 to the nearest 10. Thank you very much, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, study hard for the next lesson. And remember, for, for more videos like this, please subscribe my little channel. Until next session, goodbye.